Hey, I'm TJ and welcome to my channel where I'm going to be sharing with you technical insights and coding tutorials to help you on your coding journey. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick JavaScript tutorial by showing you a clip of a tutorial session that I have with one of the students in my Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep program. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and make sure you comment below along the way if you have any questions or comment below just to let me know if you found this tutorial helpful. All right, so you see how I'm using double equals here? Mm -hmm. This is, what type of object is this? What type of like? That's a number. A number, right? And what is this one? String. Boom. So you see, I I'm comparing, I'm seeing, hey, is this one equal to this one? Mm -hmm. And it says true. Yeah. But like, is that true, true though? You know what I'm saying? Well, no, because it's like, the double what I got from a double equals pretty much like us semi true, but the three equal signs pretty much saying they have to be it's the true, same. True. Um, yeah, it got to be true, 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 true. <laughs> so, so it's like, <laughs> so it's like this can cause bugs because mm. this is like this is like real money and this is. Usher Bucks. I don't know. You saw how like oh, uh, I seen that. Usher came up with the <laughs> Usher Bucks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, this is a hey. Is this real money equal to these like Usher Bucks? Yeah. And the code is like, yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, JavaScript. You tripping? It's not. No, sir. So that's why the triple equals is created because as you can see, when you're not running that. It gives you false. Yeah. It lets you know that A, this is not the same as that because this one only checks the value. So, but whenever it's checking the value, it'll try to, it'll actually like convert the types so the types are the same. Mm -hmm. So, this double equal is converting the types when it's doing the evaluation, but this one isn't converting anything. It's checking, okay, this is a, the type of object this is, is a number, and the value is one. This one is saying, all right, the type of object this is, is a string, and the value is one. Yeah. They're not the same. Not at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so just stick to that. And anytime that you're comparing two values, just always use triple equals. Do not use double equals. Okay. It, it can you throw the whole code off. Yeah, like it can basically lead to bugs and errors in the code. Okay, so let me actually write that down. Yeah, just always use triple equals. And so this is actually a very important interview question as well, because one of the one of the most popular questions is, what is the difference between double equals and triple equals? Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, the difference is type coercion is is what it's called, like double equals will try to coerce the types to be the same like double equals will you know like change the types to make them equal when it's comparing them mm -hmm. but triple equals doesn't do that it leaves the types as exactly how they are and compares them like do they have the same type and do they have the same value so double equals only checks the value while doing type coercion meaning that in the background, it's changing the types to be the same. Mm -hmm. So it can evaluate the values. Triple equals is not doing that. Uh, equals. 